How's it going everybody? This is B. The Bush. Today I'm going to talk about how to connect a dedicated mic like this one over here to your iPhone. And why is this a clunky solution and there is a better way to do it wirelessly. Now Apple sells this funny dongle thing. It goes from lightning port to a TRSS connector. One is ground, one is for the microphone input, and one is left audio and one is right audio, not in that order. So when you connect this to your iPhone, and let's say you want to connect a dedicated microphone to this thing, you can't do that. You need a TRSS to TRS connector, which is like this little dongle thing. So by the time you have everything, you got one dongle, you got another dongle, and then you have the microphone attached to it. You're walking around with this funny thing with the microphone attached to yourself trying to do vlogs or something and this is not gonna work very well. Now I wanna talk about this mic system. It's actually slightly cheaper than other commercial versions. I wanna thank Comica for sponsoring this video and providing this product so I can review it. Here is the little dongle. It's pretty lightweight. You just kinda plug it into your iPhone like this. And this mic system comes with two mics so you can do some kind of interview thing and everybody will have their own mic. You don't have to talk in one and then hand it off to another person and then go back and forth like this. Everybody will have their own microphone. On each mic, there is a simplex and duplex mode. Simplex means it's sending the microphone data to the receiver and then it goes into the phone that way. For duplex, they say you can monitor your audio that you're recording from this thing. Now what I've done is put in some headphones and then if I turn it on duplex mode, I can hear myself before I made a mistake of saying that the audio gets transmitted to the receiver and then it transmit it back and then put it back into your earphones. This is incorrect. What I've noticed just from using this thing is that if you actually turn this thing off, it's unpowered. The audio still comes out into the earphone. So meaning that there's no transmission to the receiver and then back. The duplex mode is really just letting you monitor whatever this microphone is recording, not taking this transmission back and forth into the loop. Now you would normally use this duplex mode just to monitor your audio levels. So you can set this from volume one, two, three, four, and then mute. So if you press the volume mute button on the side, you can change it. Now it says volume four. If I press it again, it's volume one, it's really low. So then you can just change the volume to your liking and then monitor to make sure that it's not clipped or anything. Right now, you're listening to me from this particular mic. I only have one of them on. You can kind of get a feel for the mic quality. I'm gonna plug in a Rode mic. That is on my shirt right now. I'm gonna plug it in. If I tap it here versus here, you can hear that it's coming from here. So this gives you an idea of what a dedicated mic would sound like versus the built-in mic. Each of the mic comes with a windscreen. You just fit it over. I'll just kind of flap it like this to simulate some wind. Let me put this over and I'm gonna flap it again and simulate some wind again. I'm gonna turn on the second mic over here. This is mic B. Right now it's on stereo mode. Just think of it as it's gonna sound stereo rather than mono. So if you want it to sound stereo, you're gonna have a mic dedicated to one side of the audio like that. And then another mic dedicated to the other side. So you got two people talking is like, hey, so what are you so what are you thinking about today's economy and the recession and the stock market dropping like crazy? Well, I think it's kind of crazy. You shouldn't panic and all that. Now on the receiver, there's a little button to change it from stereo mode to mono mode. Right now it's on mono mode. So both of these is going to send audio to both the left and right channel. So it's going to sound mono. If I talk over here my voice should come out to the left and right speakers. If I talk over here, same thing. So it's not gonna sound stereo-like. If you wanna play reporter, you can put this little fuzzy thing on and then you can kind of hold it like it's a mic. You can go, hey, you know, I wanna interview you, blah, blah, blah. And then you kind of stick it in front of someone and they can talk and then you can kind of move this back and forth. And this is a really, really small form factor they used to be as big as like one and a half deck of cards or so. So the fact that they can get it this small is really, really great. Other than for people that want to hold it like a microphone, I personally don't like the mic to appear within the frame or anything. So I prefer to stick it on a little, little lapel mic like this so I can plug it in. And then you clip this somewhere a little lower. Do keep in mind that this thing needs line of sight to work really well. If you kind of stick it behind your back, it will work within like 20 meters. It still will work if it's kind of around the back or so. But if you go any further than that, 
it's not as good. In comparison to the Rode, I've noticed that the Comica has better range. This is an older version of the Rode. It actually requires line of sight. If the Rode kind of like goes around you or something, you can start hearing cutouts. Now with that said, I'm gonna show you all the accessories that comes with this thing. The box, slide this guy open. Instruction manual. This is the charge case with the devices inside. When you open it, it will show you the battery levels of the transmitter and receiver. Each of these things on a full charge will last for two hours. And if you put it back into this charge case, it will charge it three full times. Let's take a look at the accessories. So you got the charge cable for the case. This is a cold shoe mount. You can slide this right on top and mount this right on top of a camera. You can plug this in there and plug this other end into your camera. Here's a windscreen. And so if you wanna pack everything, you close this up, stick this in the bag and all the other accessories that you want to bring with you. And all of this fits inside this little baggie. So if you're a vlogger and record videos exclusively on your phone, you might up your game a bit if you record audio from a dedicated microphone. You can plug it in if you want, if you're on a budget, but this wireless system makes it so that there's no bunch of wires hanging around and you can actually set it down somewhere and then kind of walk a little bit further away. Otherwise, if you're tethered with a wired mic, you can't extend this too far, right? Because the wire is a certain length. So thanks for watching this video. This particular model is called the VD Live 10. MI model number. The MI stands for made for iPod, I believe, and they also have a USB-C version. Check out my Amazon affiliate link down in the video description below. It actually won't increase the cost for you or anything, but it will help out this channel. Don't forget to give me a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.